Hey guys and welcome back. So today I have a really neat treat for you guys. So I'm talking about dry canning. So I have some instant mashed potatoes here and to preserve those for long term, the best way to do that is to dry can. And it's really simple. So all you do is wash some jars, uh, put your dry product in there, and then all you do is preheat your oven to 225. Now you bake these for about an hour because basically what you're doing is you're cooking off any insects or larva eggs or anything um, just to, uh, you know, basically sterile your uh your potatoes or whatever you can use any kind of dried beans rice uh you can all do that this way so i already preheated the oven to 225 and it's ready to go so when you put your dry product in there don't crank down your um your ring so you want it to be really loose see how how loose and you just want it to where it starts to tighten and that's it and leave it because the pressure will build up kind of like um not quite as um a pressure canner but you will still get from the difference from the heat to the um your product that's in your in your jar so we don't want we don't want your, our jars to break or anything like that so we're gonna get these uh filled and we're gonna get them in the oven so let me show you the process here all right so I have my jar and I'm, you're basically just putting your product in there, right? And you still want to leave about an inch. And what I do is tap these so that it sinks down because these are flakes. So they're going to, you know, they're going to kind of like stack on top of each other. So that's all you do just like that. Okay. And then we get a a lid put that on there and then put your ring on and then all you're going to do if I can get it I'm trying to do this one-handed is just ring tight that's it just to where it starts to get tight see I can undo this with one hand so I know it's loose enough Okay, and the most important thing is after you wash your jars, they need to be completely dry. So if you have to use a towel and get the excess moisture out, you need to do that. Otherwise, it will ruin your um, dry good. Yep, it'll ruin it for sure. So we're just going to fill these up. I know it's kind of dusty. And then just tap it so that it'll go down. All right, and we're gonna put a lid on. I have all kinds of lids and stuff all ready to go. Put our lid on and I'm out of the black ring so I have to use a silver one. So just see how I can still do that with one finger? That's how loose you want it. You don't want to tighten these until um, until after you've put them all in the oven. I also have a couple of wide ones. So use whatever you got guys. Um, if you have wide ones, use those too. It doesn't really matter as long as we're uh, getting those stored up. You want your lid to be kind of loose. All right, and I got one little um, box left to do and then uh, we will get these in the oven. I'll show you all that. Okay guys, so we have our jars all filled up. And now what we want to do is we want to put them in our oven at 225 for one hour. And you want to put a cookie sheet in the oven and put them on it just in case, you know, you get a cracked jar or broken jar. Okay. And just kind of put them in there just like that. Now this isn't like crazy hot, so it's not going to break the bottom of your jar um, already, so don't worry about 
uh, that part of it because our jars are kind of cold. But we washed them in hot water and should be, they're usually okay. So we're going to put those in there. Oh, and another thing, don't be afraid to use these mayonnaise jars to um, can stuff. Um, this glass is really thick and you have to think that um, this stuff is shipped all around the country with minimal packaging and it takes the same lid and uh, ring that our regular uh, canning jars use. So don't be afraid to think outside the box. All right guys, so we're gonna cook that for an hour and when it's done, we'll come back. Okay guys, so our timer's done. It's been an hour, so let's actually, let's turn that off and let's open these babies up. Okay. It's not like super hot, but I, I don't, definitely don't want to burn myself, so. All right, let's see what we got here. This is so easy, guys. All right, let's get all these out. Let's get these out and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay guys, so we have them all out and then the next thing that what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna tighten those down. Okay, so we wanna make sure all of those are nice and tight, which they are now. And then what's going to happen is it's e they're eventually going to seal from the heat. Alright guys, so that's dry canning. That's it. That's just really sums it up. It's really simple. Put it in the oven an hour. Don't tighten your lids until after you take them out of the oven. And there you have it. Stores up to, gosh, 15, 20, even more uh, years. So... There you go, guys.